In this WordPress tutorial, I'll show you how you can put your website into maintenance mode on WordPress. So here's what you need to do. So when you're on WordPress, you want to go to plugins and then add new. And we can put our website into maintenance mode so we can edit it on the back end. And on the front end, it's going to show that we're in maintenance mode. And we can do that through a plugin. So you just want to go ahead and search for the plugin maintenance mode. And there will be a few that come up here. Now, the one I'm going to show you how you can use is this one here, WP maintenance mode. And I'm just going to install that now. You need to do the same. And once it's installed, just go ahead and activate it. Once you've got it activated here, you should be able to scroll down and see it. So mine is here, WP maintenance mode. Now what we want to do, we want to go to settings and then go to WP maintenance mode. And that will load up this window here. Now there are a couple of settings you want to be aware of when you're putting your website into maintenance mode. And I'll walk you through these now. So actually putting your website into maintenance mode uh, can be done through these buttons here. You can either activate it or deactivate it. By default, it's going to be deactivated. Now, when you do put your website into maintenance mode and you've got like a sorry, we are in maintenance front end page. If you still want Google to recognize the content on your website and if you still want to rank, which I'm assuming you do for your search phrases, you want to make sure you turn this to yes. This will essentially allow the search bots to view your website and still see the content. So turn that on to yes. Then what you can do, you can go down and you can save these settings. You can also go to design here. And this is where you will design the maintenance page. So you can enter in some text here. You can have a background color and you can also change the background here. So you can either upload a background image or you can use a predefined background. So I'll choose, for example, I'll choose this one here and we can also save those settings. So with that done and we've got a custom landing page, which is going to say sorry for the inconvenience. We can now go ahead and turn maintenance mode on. Now there are a couple things you can do as well, like setting a timer and even getting people to enter in their emails. But just for a basic maintenance mode, we can just turn this on after changing those settings. We can go save settings and now we should be in maintenance mode. We can now just copy our URL here and I'm going to open in an incognito window and this is what it would look like from a viewer. So there you go. You can see we are now in maintenance mode. Sorry for the inconvenience. Our website is currently undergoing scheduled maintenance. Thank you for understanding. This is going to allow you to change your website on the back end. And on the front end, it's going to show this window. If that helped you out, please do make sure you leave a like and comment down below. And make sure you subscribe for more WordPress tutorials.